kệ là béo à cứ múc ra không ăn thôi đi ra chứ không ăn quan điểm của em rõ ràng hi yes I can good 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 so how are you I'm fine and good okay, that's nice to know okay so good morning and welcome to our class and what are you doing so far uh, what makes you busy I'm just tired I just stay at home and do a daily walk uh, just walking yes mm, I see the football club still not open uh, it's open for two weeks but now it closed again okay close again I see I see right and aside from walking I guess that you also watch movies or videos do you do that? I watch football. Oh, uh, you just only watch football. Okay, that's great. That's great. And do you study as well? Do you do some readings? Yes, I do. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So, Dung, can you still remember what we have done last time? What is our topic last time? Um, we have done the listening. Okay, so last time we have listening, and I think we're not yet finished there, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to continue doing that. So we're going to continue. Uh, have you finished like, okay, let, let me show you the screen. So let me check if you if you're able to talk about this one already. Can you see this? Hello, Dun. Can you hear me, Dun? Dun? Yes, I can. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can hear you. Okay, okay. So, have you remembered answering these questions like this? I don't think so, right? I think you're not yet finished here. Yes. So we're going to continue here. But I think we're finished here. No, I think it is the new test. Oh, this is the new test. Okay, so we're going to continue here. For this time, so we're entering already the listening test four. Okay, get three test four. So let's read the vocabulary. Boat. Boat. Science. Science. Medicine. Medicine. Guest house. Guest house. Exhibition. Exhibition. All right, good. So for the part one, you will hear five short conversations. So let's start. Now we are ready to start. Can you hear it? Question yeah. one. One. Which is Tom's mother? Is that your mother with a hat, Tom? She never wears a hat. Has she still got glasses and long hair? Her hair's short now, but she still wears glasses. Now listen again. Is that your mother with a hat, Tom? She never wears a hat. Has she still got glasses and long hair? Her hair's short now. But she still wears glasses. Two. Where will the beach party be? Hi, Jane. Going to the beach party tonight? Yes. Is it in the same place as last week's? By the boat? It's going to be by the trees this time. I'll meet you at the cafe then. 
Now listen again. Hi, Jane. Going to the beach party tonight? Yes. Is it in the same place as last week? By the boat? It's going to be by the trees this time. I'll meet you at the cafe then. Three. What will Fiona wear to the dance? Shall I wear this skirt or my new trousers to the dance tonight, Mum? What about your blue dress, Fiona? Is it clean? If it is, I'll wear that. I washed it yesterday. You can wear your trousers tomorrow. Now listen again. Shall I wear this skirt or my new trousers to the dance tonight, Mum? What about your blue dress, Fiona? Is it clean? If it is, I'll wear that. I washed it yesterday. You can wear your trousers tomorrow. Four. What homework is the girl doing now? Have you finished the science homework yet? I'm still working on it. What are you doing? I've done my maths, and I've just started those English exercises. I'm going to do them next. Now listen again. Have you finished the science homework yet? I'm still working on it. What are you doing? I've done my maths, and I've just started those English exercises. I'm going to do them next. Five. What's David going to buy? I'm just going to the shops, Mum. Do you need anything? Yes. Get some fruit for you. Some green cooking apples and some oranges to make juice. Well, we already have lots of oranges. Okay. Just some apples then. I'll make the juice when you get back. Now listen again. I'm just going to the shops, Mum. Do you need anything? Yes. Get some fruit for you. Some green apples and some oranges to make juice with. Well, we already have lots of oranges. Okay. Get some apples. I'll make the juice when you get back. All right, so are this you finished? This is the end of part one. Finished, Doom? Yes, I'm finished. Okay, good. So let's start um, answering it for number one. Can you read the question? Uh, which is Tom's mother? Okay, what is the answer? Uh, A. She has short hair and glasses. Okay, short hair and glasses. There, a good job. Next, number two. Uh, where will the beach party be? Okay. I uh, see. By the tree. Okay, your answer is by the tree. Good job. And where are they going to meet? If you can still remember. Uh, they are going to meet at the in the cafe uh, at the cafe. They don't meet at the cafe. Good job. Next, number three. Uh, what will Flona Fiona wear to the dance? Fiona. Okay. Wear to the dance. What's uh, your answer? B. The new dress. Okay. And what will she wear for tomorrow then? Uh, she will wear the trousers. Very good. Okay, she can wear the new dress because the mom was able to wash it, right? Okay, number four. Yes. <clears throat> what homework is the girl doing now? Uh, A. Science. Okay. Just a second, so showing. Okay, good, that's science, nice one. And number five. Number five, what's David going to buy? 
Ay, apple. Okay, apple. All right. Nice one. Good job, Dung. Perfect score here. Give me another high five. Nice yes. one. All right. So we're going to continue for this one. So we're going to listen to Sonia talking to Martin about her family. Again, listen to Sonia talking to Martin about her family. Okay. So we have here the questions and the example, and let's listen carefully. Okay, let's start. You've got a big family, Sonia. Can you me? hear it? Well, Martin, there are six children altogether, and I'm 20 and the oldest. Wow. I know Vivian, of course. She had her 15th birthday last month, didn't she? That was Sally. Vivian looks older, but she's two years younger. But you mustn't say I told you she's only 13. Of course I won't. Well, my little sister's seven. And she plays with my brother, Roger. So they must be the same age. They are. Then there's my other little brother, Frank. And how old is he? He's two years younger than Roger. Hmm. So he's only five. There must be someone else. Oh, Deborah, I nearly forgot. Isn't she 18 and starting at college in September? Yes. She's going to study medicine. She's wanted to do that since she was 10. What a nice family. Now listen again. You've got a big family, Sonia, haven't you? Well, Martin, there are six children altogether, and I'm 20 and the oldest. Wow. I know Vivian, of course. She had her 15th birthday last month, didn't she? That was Sally. Vivian looks older, but she's two years younger. But you mustn't say I told you she's only 13. Of course I won't. Well, my little sister's seven. And she plays with my brother, Roger. So they must be the same age. They are. Then there's my other little brother, Frank. And how old is he? He's two years younger than Roger. Hmm. Um, so he's only five. There must be someone else. Oh, Deborah, I nearly forgot. Isn't she 18 and starting at college in September? Yes. She's going to study medicine. She's wanted to do that since she was 10. What a nice family. This is the end of part two. Okay, doing. are you finished? I'm finished. Okay, good. So now let's start. What about Sally? How old is she? Uh, Sally, she is five, 15 years old. Okay. Good job, she's 15. What about Vivian? Vivian is 13. Larry E. Okay, good. What about Roger? Roger is seven. And the same age as? As a, he as a boy sister. Martin's, right? Martin's sister. Oh, Martin's. Good job. Next, what about Frank? Frank he is five years old. Okay, Frank is five years old. Good job. And let's Deborah. Deborah. The bra is 18. Okay, and what is she going to study? She's going to study medicine. Very good. Nice one. Good job. All right, give me another high five. Yes. All right, nice one. Good job. Now let's try to read this one. I will be Martin, you'll be Sonia. Okay. Let's start. You've got a big family, Sonia, haven't you? Well, Martin, there are six children all together, and I'm 20 and the oldest. The oldest? The oldest. Well, I know Vivian, of course, she had 15th birthday last month, didn't she? That was Sally. Vivian looks older, but 
she is two years younger. But you mustn't say, I told you she is only 30. Of course, I won't. Well, my little sister is seven. And she plays with my brother Roger. So they must be the same age. They are. Then there's my other little brother Frank. And how old is he? He's two years younger than Roger. So he's only five. There must be someone else. Uh, oh, Deborah. I nearly forgot. Isn't she 18 and starting at college in September? Yes, she is going to study medicine. She wants to do that since she was 10. What a nice family. All right, your turn to read doing for Martin and I'll be Sonia here. Okay. Uh, you've got a big family, Sonia, haven't you? Well, Martin, there are six children all together and I'm 20 and the oldest. Wow, I know Vivian. Of course, she had her 15th birthday last month, didn't she? That was Sally. Vivian looks older, but she's two years younger. But you mustn't say I told you she's only 13. Of course, I won't. Well, my little sister seven. And she plays with my brother, Roger. So they must be the same age. They are. Then there's my other little brother, Frank. And how old is he? He's two years younger than Roger. So he's only five. There must be someone else. Oh, Deborah, I nearly forgot. Isn't she 18 and starting at college in September? Yes, she's going to study medicine. She's wanted to do that since she was 10. What a nice family. You're good. Nice one, Ding. Now we're going to read this. Uh, we're going to answer this part 11 to 15. You need to listen to a woman asking a travel agent for information about a park in the mountains. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B, or C. Okay, for this is example. Now listen to the conversation. Can I help you? I'd like some information about the mountain park. I've got seven days holiday next month. Yes, yeah, certainly. Okay, uh, it did not say the information there. Okay, anyway, so listen carefully here, Dean, and take note of your answer and the information. Let's start. Now listen to the conversation. Can I help you? I'd like some information about the mountain park. I've got seven days holiday next month. Yes, yeah, certainly. First, I'd like to book somewhere to stay. I'm afraid there's nothing in the park. Just a small cafe, that's all. The nearest guest house is in a village a few kilometers away. Has the village got somewhere to swim or a cinema? <laughs> it's very quiet. There's just a small supermarket that sells food. I don't mind that. Can I take my car to the park? Yes, but you must leave it at the entrance with the other cars and buses. Visitors must walk through the park. And how much does it cost to go in? From Mondays to Fridays, everyone pays $12. But at weekends, it's $13 for children and $16 for adults. Right. 
Will I see any animals in the park next month? I don't think so. But it's the best time to go. There won't be any snow and the flowers will be beautiful. Now listen again. Can I help you? I'd like some information about the mountain park. I've got seven days holiday next month. Yes, yeah, certainly. First, I'd like to book somewhere to stay. I'm afraid there's nothing in the park, just a small cafe, that's all. The nearest guest house is in a village a few kilometers away. Has the village got somewhere to swim or a cinema? <laughs> it's very quiet. There's just a small supermarket that sells food. I don't mind that. Can I take my car to the park? Yes, but you must leave it at the entrance with the other cars and buses. Visitors must walk through the park. And how much does it cost to go in? From Mondays to Fridays, everyone pays $12. But at weekends, it's $13 for children and $16 for adults. Right. Will I see any animals in the park next month? I don't think so. But it's the best time to go. There won't be any snow and the flowers will be beautiful. All right. This is the end of part three. Okay, do. Are you finished? Yes, I'm finished. Okay, let's start. Okay, can you read number 11? Uh, in the park, there is a cafe. Okay, so in the park, there is a cafe. Very good. La Hotel? Number 12, the village has a food shop. Very good, it's a food shop. Okay, just, uh, the answer is just wrong, okay? But it's a food shop. Okay, good. Number 13? You can only go through the pub on food. Very good, letter C. On food, it should be on food. Okay, but you go to the area by bus, right? Yes. Okay, good. Number 14? On weekdays, a visit to the park costs a $12. Okay, $12. And next, number 15? In the park, the woman will see snow. Okay, you will see snow. Very good. Good job. So nice one, dude. For perfect score here. Good job. Good job. Now let's try to read this conversation here. I'll be Mark and you'll be Jenny. All right. So let's start. Hello, Jenny. What are you doing here? Mark, hello. This is my daughter, Sarah. Is the school holiday, so we are shopping now. So we're shopping we are, now. So we are shopping now. We are not sure what to do after that. I think this is a different um, text, sorry. It is. It's a different text. Um, let's just move to the next part. Okay, um, there is... Um, Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's just continue here. Let's answer 16 to 20. Uh, let us hear Mr. Matt's talking to his friend Sarah about a trip to Manchester in England. Okay? So these are the questions. So let's listen now. Are you ready doing to start? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's start. Now look at part four. You will hear Matt talking to his friend Sarah about a trip to Manchester in England. Listen and complete question 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello. Hello, Sarah. It's Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you? Are you going to come to England in October? Yes, I am. I'm really happy. I'm going to visit Manchester. 
That's why I'm phoning. I have some questions. What do you need to know? First, what will the weather be like? Will it be cold? Well, it'll be autumn. The temperature will be 14 degrees. So, what clothes shall I bring? Well, it rains a lot in Manchester, so bring a raincoat. Okay. Next question. How do I get to Manchester from Heathrow Airport? You can take the underground into the centre of London and then a train from Euston Station. That's E-U-S-T-O-N. And there's also a plane from Heathrow to Manchester. Which is the cheaper? The train, I think. It's £30. And finally, can I bring you anything from my country, Sarah? Oh, yes, please. Can you bring me some cheese? I always like food. No problem. See you in October. Bye. Now listen again. Hello. Hello, Sarah. It's Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you? Are you going to come to England in October? Yes, I am. I'm really happy. I'm going to visit Manchester. That's why I'm phoning. I have some questions. What do you need to know? First, what will the weather be like? Will it be cold? Well, it'll be autumn. The temperature will be 14 degrees. So, what clothes shall I bring? Well, it rains a lot in Manchester, so bring a raincoat. OK. Next question. How do I get to Manchester from Heathrow Airport? You can take the underground into the centre of London, and then a train from Euston Station. That's E U S T. O-N. And there's also a plane from Heathrow to Manchester. Which is the cheaper? The train, I think. It's 30 pounds. And finally, can I bring you anything from my country, Sarah? Oh, yes, please. Can you bring me some cheese? I always like food. No problem. See you in October. Bye. All right, Ding, are you finished? This is the end of part four. Sorry. I'm finished. Okay, good. So let's start. So we can start here. Temperature in autumn. Uh, it is 14 degrees. 14 degrees. It's, just like it's not showing. Okay, good, good. And what will need to wear during that time? Uh, you uh, you will need to wear a raincoat. Okay, raincoat. Good job. Why do they need a raincoat? Because because it is rain a lot. Because it rain a lot there. Okay, good. Next number eighteen. Uh, the name of train station in London is Euston. Can you spell that? Uh, e U S T O N. Very good. E U S T O N. And next number nineteen. As the cost of train is thirteen dollar. Okay, thirteen. It's actually thirty dollars, not thirteen. Sounds like yes. the same, but different. Okay, good. Next. You will take Sarah some cheese. Okay, some cheese. Very good. Nice one for this one, all right? So let's listen to the next part, 21 to 25. You will hear some information about the museum. Listen and complete the questions 21 to 25. Are you familiar with this museum? This is the Louvre Museum in Paris? Um, not yet. Okay, you're not really. Okay, so this is one of the best architectural um, museum that you can see. Okay, anyway, let's start listening here. Let's start. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a museum. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. 
The Redfern Museum is closed today. Our opening hours are from half past one to half past four, Monday to Thursday. The museum has things for you to see from the 18th century. The downstairs room shows the clothes of 200 years ago. For example, you can see what children wore at school and what families wore for dinner. Upstairs, we are showing some important paintings by Spanish artists of the time. There's a short film about this exhibition every afternoon, and there will be talks about some of these pictures in November. In the garden room, there will be free concerts all through December for visitors to the museum. A ticket to the museum costs £5 for adults, £3.80 for students, and £2.50 for children. We welcome school group visits. Please phone our school's officer for further information on 557 642 between 9 and 5 every day. Come to Redfern Museum soon. Thank you for calling. Now listen again. The Redfern Museum is closed today. Our opening hours are from half past one to half past four, Monday to Thursday. The museum has things for you to see from the 18th century. The downstairs room shows the clothes of 200 years ago. For example, you can see what children wore at school and what families wore for dinner. Upstairs, we are showing some important paintings by Spanish artists of the time. There's a short film about this exhibition every afternoon, and there will be talks about some of these pictures in November. In the garden room, there will be free concerts all through December for visitors to the museum. A ticket to the museum costs £5 for adults, £3.80 for students, and £2.50 for children. We welcome school group visits. Please phone our school's officer for further information on 557 642 between 9 and 5 every day. Come to Redfern Museum soon. Thank you for calling. All right. Last one, Dean. Can you tell us the answer is now? This is the end of part five. Uh, in downstairs, no, they are all clothes. Okay. So you can see the old clothes. Okay, very good. Then upstairs pictures by upstairs, uh, pictures by Spanish artists. Okay, very good. Spanish artists. Next. Concert during month of December. Okay, so there are concerts during the month of December. Okay, next. How much is a student ticket? Uh, £3.80. Okay, so it's £3.80. Very good. And what is the telephone number? Can you say it? Uh, the telephone number is 5576-42. Very good. So double five seven six four two. Okay, good job, Dung. Give me a high five. Nice one. Yes. All right. So for the next part, uh, okay, let's read it. We still have time. Okay. I will read it first, then I will let you read after. Okay. The Redfern Museum is closed today. Our opening hours are from half past one to half past four, Monday to Tuesday. The museum has things for you to see from the 18th century. The downstairs room shows the clothes of 200 years ago. For example, you can see what children wore at the school and what families wore for dinner. Upstairs, we are showing some important paintings by Spanish artists of the time. There is a short film about this exhibition every afternoon, and there will be talks about some of these pictures in November. In the garden room, there will be free concerts all through December for visitors to the museum. A ticket to the museum costs five pounds for adults, 30 pounds 80 for students, and two pounds 50 for children. We welcome group school, we welcome school group visits. Please phone our school's officer for further information on double five seven six 
four two between nine and five every day come to red Flag museum soon thank you for calling your turn to read uh the the red fin museum is closed today our opening hours are from half past one to half past four monday to thursday the museum has this for you to see from the 18th century the downstairs room shows the close of town 200 years old years ago for example you can see what children were at at school and what families were for dinner. Upstairs, we are showing some important paintings by Spanish artists of the time. There's a short film about the exhibition. About this exhibition. Every exhibition every afternoon, and there will be talks about some of these pictures in November in the garden in the garden room there will be free concerts all through all through December for visitors to the museum a ticket to the museum costs five pounds for adults three pounds eighty for students and two pounds fifty for children we welcome school group visits please for please phone our school's officer for further information on double five six at double five seven six four two between nine and five every day come to red firm museum soon thank you for calling you're good nice one too good job good job all right so we're finished here for listening and i need to rest the zoom do can you go back because, okay. Uh, um okay because of the 40 minutes allowance so please come back immediately